What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this video. Welcome, welcome. So for today's video, it's on this makeup look here using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam, which I am digging. I love it. Anyway, if you want to see this whole makeup look come to life, then please keep watching. So I'm going to use this Moisture Glow from YSL. It's just a hydrating moisturizer. But it has like a glow to it as well. Feels nice. Smells nice. Oh, it feels really nice. It's like a gel kind of a formula. And for my primer, I'm going to use the Fenty primer. So I'm going to use the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. So I got, in my PR package, I got like a few of the big ones and then all the little shades in these little ones. So the shade I used in the previous video was Fiji, but I found it was just way too yellow on my skin. So I'm going to try this one, which is the shade Vienna. So it's like one shade lighter than Fiji, but it looks a little bit less yellow so I'm gonna give this a go because I really like the coverage in that but it was just I kind of looked like a Simpson so uh yeah that's not a good look oh I think this color might be, might be way better no I could be putting way too much on oh this color is definitely better it's not as yellow a bit more on the neutral side. Such good coverage, like it's covering up any of my little scars that I have here. This brush is a Morphe brush. There is no name or number, but it's part of the collection with the, what do you call these things? Little rhinestones? I don't know. So I have a few new products here that I haven't tried before. So one of them is the Benefit Boing, 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 boing. I guess it's like boing. You know the noise of a spring. I'm guessing that is what this means. But this is the one I'm going to use. And this shade is number one. So we'll give this a go and see what it's like. I'm just going to apply this with a flat brush first. Just blending this out with a tarp brush. It's kind of separating on me. I don't know if I like this. I think I just love shape tape too much that anything else I try, I'm just kind of like, hmm. And sometimes I feel like they can react to the foundation that it's with. Whatever formulas, they may not like sit well together. I'm gonna go over it with shape tape. Cause it's just separating too much on me. I'll try it again with a different foundation but I don't like it with that foundation. So I'm just going back into Shape Shape. This is the shade Light. So we're just going over some areas. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was going to work or be too heavy but it actually worked. Now another new product I'm going to try is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. It's the Loose Translucent Powder. me <coughs> okay i think i used too much powder i'm still like seeing bits of it so you need a tiny bit it's not bad actually i feel like it made it darker though for some strange reason for some reason that left like a darker line but i just went over it with my concealer brush and i got rid of it so that was weird seems okay so far but i feel like with powder i usually has to wear it throughout the day to see if I like it or not and how it wears. Now I'm gonna start bronzing using the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. This blends really easy. And like the color doesn't go too dark so I don't mind like adding a little extra with this one. Let's blend it with the Morphe G37. 
just in light motions and I don't like dig too hard into the skin just really gently so next up I'm going to use the Annabelle bronzer this is in the shade Sunkissed and this brush is a MAC 129 brush so I'm just going over the cream contour just to set it And I'm going to take a little bit of the Hoola powder as well. And I'm going to use this just to contour a little more. So for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, the Soft Glam. Love it. The minute I saw this, I was like, yes, at every level. It is so basic in the most perfect way like look at all these shades so fab there's five that like have a shimmer to it the rest are all matte which makes me so 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 happy so i'm gonna start off using burnt orange and i'm just gonna start working this shade into the crease this brush i'm using is a bh cosmetics brush number six it's part of the it's my ray ray collab Now I'm taking some of the shade Rustic and I'm just changing my brush. This is a blank canvas brush in the number E42. And again with this one into the crease. And now going in with some Cypress Umber. I'm just gonna mostly focus this on the outer corner. I'm just kind of blending that out now again with the first brush I used. For the lid, I'm going to use the shade Sultry, which is this one here. But just to make it pop a little bit more, I'm just going to put a base down. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Sin Eye Base. So I'm just rubbing this all over the lid. And then with a flat brush, just push the product in and blend it around the lid. And then taking some sultry and we're just going to press that on top. Back in with the first brush, I'm just going to blend. Going back in again with Cypress Umber and I'm just going back onto the outer corner. Now I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs pencil. This is the shade Earthquake. And we're just going to apply this to the lower lash line. And now I'm going to blend this out with Dose of Colors brush. It's just a pencil brush. Now taking some more burnt orange. And we're just going to blend the liner out. So I was going to use a black liner in my waterline, but instead of that, I'm going to mix it up a little bit and use a little bit of color. I'm going to use that Marc Jacobs pencil. This is in the shade Mist Me. I kind of like it. Like it's very subtle, but it's just a little different. Just, you know, instead of your typical smoky eye. So I'm just going to coat my lashes in mascara now using the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I'm just going to use the Huda Beauty Lashes in the Style Jade. Now I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorezi Highlight and I'm just going to use this to highlight the inner corners. And the blush I'm going to use is a blush from Nabla Cosmetics. This is the colour Kendra. Just add a little colour to the cheeks. And then back in again with the Amorezi highlight. And I'm just going to use this to highlight my cheeks.
So for my lips, I'm going to use the Maybelline Gigi Hadid lipstick in the shade McCall. And just to define the lips, I'm going to use Max Liner in the shade Whirl. And now to fix my hair. Ta-da! I don't know if it's better before or after because right now it looks like a bit of a fuzzy mess. But that's okay. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. And I will see you in the next one.